How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to change out your side mirror. Okay, so the reason why I'm changing out my side mirror, uh, as you can see it's still on the car. The outside looks perfectly fine, but if you turn to this side you see that something was growing inside between the layers and it's super hazed out and with the tint it makes it really hard to see at night especially when trying to back into a spot so i got this second hand one and i'm gonna go ahead and try to throw it on all right so i am working at night so i apologize if you hear the cookie frogs in the background but uh what you're gonna want to do is uh, open up the door of your choice this is going to be the same for your driver's side as well and we're going to remove the door panel this is a pretty straightforward thing to do. All you need to do is remove this uh, little rubber piece down here. There's a screw. Pull the handle out. Pop this little piece right here with the flathead this way towards the inside of the car. It'll come out. And then on the inside over here, there is a little um, plastic screw, which I like to just pull my, right underneath right here. And just like that pops out and you push down and it pops this guy out. Now you do have to push the center piece back in like that and then pull it out so you can reset the pin when you go to put it back in, but we're going to do that later. So once you get the two screws out, or technically three, that little side one as well, uh, you can go ahead and I like to start at the bottom and I pull around the bottom right here all the way around and just separate the clips from the door panel and then you basically pull the door panel up at an angle like towards uh, inside the car. So pull the right side up higher and then I like to like slide it over to the right and off the track. If you see that little weather strip come, piece come off, uh, I have other videos of how to fix that. Check the link in the description. Also if you're um, you know um, detailed to realize I have different uh, aftermarket subs in my car, you might have seen those in there. And if you're curious about um, replacing your subs, I also have a link in the description if you want to check that out. Um, also, if you want a more detailed explanation about removing the door panel, I also have a video on that. I'll link it down below as well. But we continue. I'm going to go ahead and pull all the clips around, pull it away, lift, and then slide off, and then the door panel will be off. So just like that, door panel is off, and there's technically uh, five connections, I guess. So three for like where the window switches, and I guess the lock uh, actuator. Uh, this is actually the um, lock and door handle. And then this, I guess, is for uh, the tweeter that's inside the door, or um, uh, mini speaker, whatever it is. Because I guess this is a tweeter, so it's probably a mini speaker. And then we have our sub that stays in the uh, actual regulator itself. And if for whatever reason your regulator goes bad, I also have a video for that, and I'll link it below. Now, moving forward, we are going to access three bolts, which are right behind here. So this should just technically pop off and you don't have to take it all the way off, but it's kind of sitting in a channel up top right here. So you do have to kind of like lift it and pull away just like that. And it will expose a connector right here, which we're going to disconnect. And then we have three screws, which I believe are 10 millimeters that we are going to take off after we disconnect this. So if you disconnected your connection right here and undid the three screws, be careful not to move the door or anything because this might fall out. Um, the only reason I'm not holding it right now is because I want to make a video for you guys, but obviously be careful. You could technically still fix this and use it as a back if you need to, but we're just going to wiggle this straight on out, just like that. And I want to clean in there because there's a little bit of road debris and dirt. Um, but now that that's nice and clean, we can go ahead and install our new mirror. Okay, right, so hopefully you guys can see this, but I'm going to go ahead and install this now. Make sure you get your bolts. Are your nuts, I should say, three nuts. Didn't realize that the new one came with nuts as well, so I was wondering why it didn't sit in all the way. That would be why. Once they're snug down, I do switch back to a ratchet so I can actually like make sure it's snug. Because even though it clicked it, Obviously it still has a little bit more to go before it's like tight tight. It 
Obviously, you don't want this thing flying off while you're doing uh, the speed limit. Okay, and just like that, we have successfully replaced our side mirror. Now, there is a little bit of an Easter egg to this. As you can see, the blinker works, but if you are a 2009 to 2011, you might not have known about this. For the 2012 to 2014, especially like the R specs, but the tech package, if you find mirrors from those, you lock it, and you lock it again. They are auto folding. Unlock, unlock. How sick is that? The 09 did not come with the auto folding mirrors, but it is already natively pl like plumbed, wired in. All you need to do is find a 2012 to 2014 uh, mirrors, and they plug right in, and they have the auto fold. That was like the biggest thing I've been trying to find. Unfortunately, I I only bought one for proof of concept. So I didn't know if this was actually going to work or not, and I didn't want to spend the money on two if it didn't work because obviously only one mirror is bad. But now that I know that it does have the auto folding, I am definitely going to buy the driver's side next so that I have two auto folding mirrors on my 2009, which is the model that never came with that option. So that is freaking sick. So if you learned something new today, give the video a like. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's right below. Uh, so isn't liking the video, um, but you know, I post a lot of Genesis content if you're new. Um, helpful tutorials, DIY, mods, upgrades, all that good stuff. There's also a lot of random other content and car stuff that I, uh, um, you know, post as well. So if you're, you know, a car enthusiast, gearhead, whatever, subscribe because there's a lot of cool content that I come out with that's not just Genesis related. But, like I said, uh, if you joined the video, be sure to give it a like. You know, I, I make these videos to help you guys out leaving a like you know just seems awesome and um you know helps the algorithm recommend my videos to everyone else so appreciate you guys watching have a good night